In this video, you will learn how to work with barcode objects in Bartender. Seagull Scientific's Barcode Guide is a good starting point to research what kind of barcode you need to identify your product. You can find the barcode guide at barcodeguide.seagullscientific.com. The Barcode Symbologies section provides more in-depth explanations for the different types of barcode symbologies. The Symbology Standards in Industry section explains the differences between technical standards and application standards. To create a barcode in Bartender, you can click the barcode icon in the toolbar. The first time you create a barcode, the Select Barcode dialog will open. The Select Barcode dialog presents a panel of folders that contain different barcode symbologies based on application or industry. Or, if you know the exact type of barcode that you need, you can type it into the search bar. Select the barcode. Click the Select button. And then use your cursor to place the barcode object where you want it on the template. Bartender will remember what type of barcode you selected, and will present it to you as an option in the Recently Used Barcodes list the next time you create a barcode object. To create a different type of barcode, select the More Barcodes option to open the Select Barcode dialog. Once you have placed your barcode on the template, you'll want to replace the sample data with your data. Open the Barcode Object Properties and select the data source from the data source list. The data source list contains all the data sources that make up the object. A barcode object can have multiple data sources. You can type your data into the embedded data field, or you can change the data source type to a database field. You can find more information on connecting to a database on the Seagull Scientific Support Portal. You can use the green handles on the barcode object borders to resize the object. You can further modify the size of the barcode object in the Object Properties by opening the Symbology and Size panel. To change the size of the barcode, you can adjust the X dimension. The X dimension is the width of the narrowest printed unit in the barcode. For that reason, when you change the X dimension, it will increase or decrease the overall width of the barcode based on the printer's DPI and its ability to print the narrowest line in the barcode. If you need to further refine the X dimension, you can click on the icon to the right of the X dimension field to open the barcode X dimension dialog. In the barcode X dimension dialog, you can adjust the units of measure. You can also lock the X dimension to the target X dimension or set a new target X dimension. The Auto Size feature allows you to set a specified width for the barcode that Bartender will maintain regardless of the amount of data contained in the barcode. The last option in the Barcode X Dimension dialog allows you to adjust the bar and space width manually. Back in the Symbology and Size panel, the Symbology specific options will allow you to adjust parameters based on the type of symbology selected. Some symbologies will provide a wizard that will walk you through building the data structure of your barcode. Others will provide available options for that symbology. If you have questions about the symbology-specific options for your barcode, click the Help button to open the Bartender Help documentation. Once you have your barcode all set, you may want to make adjustments to the human-readable text portion of the barcode object. You can use the Text Toolbar to modify the appearance of the human-readable text portion of the barcode. You can also modify the human readable text by opening the properties and selecting the human readable panel. You can make adjustments to the visibility of the human readable text by setting it to none if you don't want to display the human readable text, or you can set the visibility per data source. You can change where the text is placed in relation to the barcode, adjust the alignment of the text, or set a vertical or horizontal offset to the text. Depending on the chosen symbology, there may be symbology-specific options that can be changed in the human-readable text. If you need to modify the data displayed in the human-readable text, you can use the human-readable transforms. You can make further changes to the human-readable text in the font panel. For more information about working with Bartender Designer, you can check out support.seagullscientific.com. Thank you for watching.